Hey, yo, I need your help. What for? I need questions. For what? To answer. Okay, but what for? For a video. Oh, well, why didn't you say so? Okay, so here is the first question from KL Studio. Um, do you like squirrels? Ooh, interesting. Uh, wait, what? S squirrels? Yes, squirrels. Like Sandy from SpongeBob. Yes, I know what a squirrel is, thank you. Um, I, m I mean, who doesn't? Okay, nice answer, I think. Although, the real question is, are there any YouTubers that inspire you? Okay, now that is a good question. YouTubers that inspire me, uh... The only ones I can think of are like... Markiplier and Blixion, like, the, the, those two are like my biggest inspirations. Just because, you know, Markiplier is just this YouTuber who creates, makes things like a lot of the time. And I mean, Blixion helps him with, you know, editing, but Blixion himself also makes things like games. And Markiplier hasn't made a game yet. But just both of those together, an amalgamation of truly inspiring and the editing in Markiplier's videos and in Blixium's videos, but mostly Markiplier's videos are what also just inspire me to sort of continue on. And to be fair, there are other YouTubers out there who inspire me to continue on, to continue thriving. But those two are like sort of my main inspirations, just... They're amazing. I mean, another YouTuber that kind of inspires me is Kane Pixels, but only because of his uh, background stuff, and I've been wanting to do some sort of like animation style that's similar to his. I just haven't had the ideas nor the time to actually pursue that part of uh production that part of creation just yet you know what that's actually a pretty neat and solid answer well thank you um are there any other questions nope wait what you mean there just exists no other questions well i mean there's no other questions on that video so there is other questions right i mean probably then give me those well, I guess another question could be, how did it take you so long to get to 1k subscribers when other people can get there, like, super fast? Oh, yeah. I have actually been asked that question quite a few times, actually. And to answer that question, uh, it's just been a case of trial and error. Just experimenting and just trying out what videos work and what videos don't work and I mean most of the time it's just I don't know trying to see what sticks and if something doesn't stick then I used to have the mindset that if something doesn't stick then I would not go forward with it but now I'm just in the mindset that I'm just going to create what I want to create if people want to uh, go along their journey with me, then that's entirely up to them. But if they don't, and I still enjoy what I'm doing, I'm gonna keep on going with it no matter what. And so far, I think that has made my channel thrive a bit more. I can't say for certain though, because uh, sometimes there have been dips in, you know, performance, but I'm not too fussed about it because again I am doing YouTube because I enjoy doing it I don't do YouTube because I want to follow a trend or I want to follow what's popular I want, I'm doing it to share my gaming experience with other people and if they like my personality my reactions my thoughts my feelings Awesome. If they don't, my videos will still exist regardless. And then there's the question of why you don't already have 1 million subscribers. 
Oh yeah, I think I've actually been asked that a couple times actually. I still kind of believe I get asked that quite a lot because I just keep thinking to myself that I'm not good enough, I'm not worthy enough, or yeah, I'm just not good enough to reach that big number. Like, I just, <laughs> I'm not good enough. <laughs> now the reason why I am not at a million subscribers is because uh, a lot of my content beforehand, at least before 2020 or before 2019, mostly before 2020 or 2021, is me not being truly myself, if you know what I mean. Like, I feel like right now where I am is where I am the most confident I have been with myself and knowing what I like, what I dislike, and knowing what, how to deal with that going forward, it's made me a bit more of a better person than I was beforehand, and I think a lot of people can see that now. I think that a lot of people are uh, getting to find my content and find me, and they just, they enjoy watching somebody go through a game, having fun, sharing their thoughts, sharing their personality throughout the game as well. And I, even though I do think I had that in my earlier content, uh, my, my mindset back then wasn't the best. It was just me kind of following what was popular. But now I'm just like I'm a bit of both worlds. Like I'm a I'm a bit of I want to play things that I want to play, but I'm also like I want to play with the things that are kind of popular as well. So trying to balance those two is a little bit of a difficult situation. But you know I'm I'm working through it. Another answer I have is I'm somewhat content with what I have right now even though it would be a little bit of a bonus to see my content getting more traction even though I've had that before and it was scary for me <laughs> to see the traction is a little bit of a bonus but I'd rather have a audience or like a community that truly enjoys my content for me and what I'm playing, what I'm doing, rather than just, you know, enjoying what I'm playing. Because if they're just enjoying what I'm playing but not enjoying me, then they're not going to stick around. That's just kind of like the reality of it. If they don't stick around, they're just not going to come back. So, if they like you, they will stick around and some people have stuck around uh i don't think everyone will not everyone will again that's just the reality of it and i've just kind of come to accept that well i think that about does it for the questions to give you then you know i didn't realize how short this video would actually be and to be fair that's actually a little bit of a good thing because uh it means a little bit less stress on me you need to put a little less pressure on yourself. Yes, I'm very much aware of that, thank you. Alright then, well, I'm gonna go now, so goodbye. See you later. Okay everyone, so, um, this video kind of went a little bit different than I expected it or wanted it to go, because, uh, I made that video about send me your questions and I was thinking maybe, just maybe, that people would uh, send me their questions. Maybe I didn't make it clear about uh, sending the questions in uh, the comment section or this place or that place. Maybe that was my own fault, I'm not entirely sure, but uh, I wanted to at least try it out one more time and uh, I only got one question. Uh, which is fine, I wasn't like expecting a whole lot, but uh, because 
it happened this way. Okay, I, I, I thought, okay, let's just, I don't know, do it this unique-ish way then. Uh, also because I wanted to address some questions that I've had in the past. So, I thought that this would be like a little bit of a neat way to do that. Uh, but yeah, anyway. I hope everyone had uh, enjoyed this video. Um, to be fair, I thought that this video would be semi-short, but it might actually be longer than I thought it would be. And hopefully it won't be that long because I don't want to put more stress on me because, God, I've been stressing so much about, like, editing the videos recently. And I shouldn't be this stressed, but I have been, and it's my own fault. And uh, hopefully, uh, once this video is done, I can be de-stressed completely. But anyway, everyone, hope you have all enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy, please do leave a like down below, and I shall see... You guys next time. Peace out, everybody.